All right, hot topic at the moment, stamp duty versus land tax. Trying to abolish stamp duty and replace it with a land tax system. Look, the devil's in the detail. It's a bit like Trump versus Biden, isn't it? Um, it's going to play out over the next few months, and I think they're wanting to make it a national rollout, which I think is sensible. Uh, but I just wanted to give you a, a quick example on today's numbers to see uh, which one's going to be worthwhile. And there's a lot of factors that come into play here. But let's have a quick look. So I've done a, a New South Wales example for the moment. So we've said if we've got a land uh, value of 1.1 million, which is what obviously land tax is calculated on, the value of the land, not the, the house and land uh, total. Uh, at the moment, we would be paying just under $6,000 per annum in land tax every year. Now, you probably know land tax is payable every year for the years that you own that property, okay? Whereas stamp duty is a one-off payment at the start when you first purchase that property. So. We equate that to uh, 1.5 million of total value, which is if you're buying a $1.5 million property, you may assume that 1.1 of it is land value and the rest is house value, right? Just rough figures to today. Uh, but how much stamp duty would be, be, we be paying in New South Wales? Uh, we'd be paying roughly $68,000 of stamp duty as a one-off payment, okay? so. Let's do the maths on that and work out how long it takes for one to outweigh the other. Well, it's 11 years. So if we were going to hold that property for 11 years or longer, right, the stamp duty would start to be more beneficial. But if we're going to hold the property less than that time, then the land tax option would be the better one to go with. So. As we know it today, you may have the chance, land tax or stamp duty, and then you make a decision when you buy it. But for me, it's too early to, to tell which one's going to be a better outcome. Um, like New Zealand, UK, they've pretty much abolished stamp duty. So we're, we're seen as maybe being a little bit behind the times, uh, but we'll, we'll see how that comes in the next few weeks when we get some more information on it. But just wanted to give you the information or the example of that for New South Wales. In Victoria, uh, the stamp duty is actually a little bit higher. So it depends on which state you're in as well and how that's going to play out. So hope that helps. Uh, good, good conversation for the barbecue. Talk soon.